Now through December 15th, Dr. Singh is offering a $250 discount off of facial slimming surgery. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and type the word free consult down below to get started today. I am a paralegal. I've been working as a paralegal um, for five, six years now. Uh, I specialize in business immigration. I also go to law school at night. I don't have the healthiest work-life balance or a really good workout schedule program. So that's why I want to get this done. I'm very self-conscious of um, just the, my face, especially him um, on Instagram. And I just saw the work that he had done recently, the results and just how little downtime um, most of his patients have. That is obviously something really big for a lot of people, especially for me, the big concern because I have a lot of um, like work and in school, a lot of things going on. So based off of like his uh, results, I just started doing more research. I checked online his website and everything. And I was really impressed by his work and all the reviews and I just knew um, I was in good hands. We FaceTimed. He's very much in touch with his patients. He loves having that um, close, like one-on-one -on -one contact approach. Yeah, he's he's very much on top of it. He's helped me through even like the administrative process, which he doesn't have to be involved in. Um, yeah, so I really like that about him. Bedside manner, and I feel really comfortable, uh, and I, I trust him. So we're about to start what we call facial slimming surgery. It comprises two procedures. We're gonna do a buccal fat reduction as well as do a chin and neck liposuction. What it does, it tapers the lower face as well as the neck, gives a beautiful definition to the neck. And I think it just gives you a much more youthful appearance. I think combining the buccal fat reduction with chin and neck liposuction is a very powerful surgery. We're about to start facial slimming surgery. It entails the buccal fat reduction on both sides, as well as a chin and neck liposculpting. It works in a way that it tapers your lower face, also gives you a beautiful jawline, as well as deep neck. It's gonna come out beautiful. Good. So we're gonna start the procedure by injecting tumescent fluid mm -hmm. for her neck as well as the chin area and that will numb her up so one of the important things i want to point out with the chin and neck liposculpting i always make an incision behind the ear on both sides because i think unless you cross hatch it it's very hard to give you a beautiful jawline that you should get with a chin and neck liposculpting so we're about to start the buccal fat reduction part of the case there are a few specific things i want to point out so you can pretty much see the buccal fat here. What I do is I manually palpate from outside and put pressure here so it's nicely exposed because the key for me is you want to spend minimal time doing this procedure because if you spend too much time, then it's going to get swollen and takes a long time to recover after the surgery. So we're going to go in now and we'll see what happens. So I make this incision. And I can almost see the buccal fat popping out. You see how nicely the buccal fat is coming out? Just doing very gentle, blunt spreads. And that just kind of separates the buccal fat. There's no risk of any nerve injury because it's all nice and gentle spread and the buccal fat is just popping out. So the next step would be, I'm just gonna tease this buccal fat out. We're done with the buccal fat on the other side. I believe I isolated the buccal fat nicely over here. We're gonna make a small nick, and that's gonna be followed by spreading, and we'll see if we can get the buccal fat out very quickly on this side as well. Patient is awake, yet very comfortable. Mm -hmm. She approves. <laughs> I'm spreading the buccinator muscle and you can almost see the buccal fat ready to pop out. This is how ideally your incision should be. Buccal fat should be ready to pop out. You just make the incision at the right spot. 
So now I have this buckle fat isolated. I'm gonna just tease it with another forcep. And whatever part of buckle fat wants to come out easily, that's what we're gonna get out. I'm not gonna force it, but I'm gonna very gently try and tease it out. The idea is you wanna get similar amount on both sides. And I feel we are pretty close. If you see the amount of fat we got out is very similar to what we got on the other side. So it kind of looks pretty symmetric. Two minutes and probably 20 seconds is what it took us to get the buckle fat out from this side and probably similar amount of time from the other side. That's beautiful buckle fat. We're gonna put it on the four by four and just compare both sides. The right versus left side, they seem very similar in their amount, consistency. I'm very, very happy with this. So we're gonna just uh, go ahead and start closing it. We're done with our buckle fat reduction. The last step, I always close it. Uh, I'm gonna use photochromic suture. The idea is, you could argue for not even closing it, but the idea is, I don't want any food particles to get stuck over there. So, it takes about two to three days for it to close, and, uh, and that's why we just kind of do any feature that will last more than two to three days. So we're almost done with our buckle fat reduction. It took us about less than 10 minutes for the whole procedure. It took us 2 minutes 15 seconds on the right side, uh, about 2 minutes on the left side. And the reason that's important is because the less time you spend doing the procedure, the less swelling you get after the surgery. It takes lots of finesse to be able to always see the buccal fat, be able to consistently get it out in about 10 to 15 minutes. It requires lots of practice lots of experience doing this specific case. There are a few post-op things that I always tell my patients in terms of recovery. If you're doing just a buccal fat procedure, you could literally walk in and out of the OR. It should not take you more than 30 minutes. I tell them first 24, 48 hours, just take liquid food because I don't want any food particles to be stuck. And after that, you have no restriction. You can literally go out and about your life, have patients come in, get the buccal fat procedure done, and then they literally go back to work. Now we're gonna go back to the second part of our facial slimming surgery, which is chin and neck life. So we're done with our buccal fat reduction. I'm about to start chin and neck life coaching. The patient already has two methods. She is nicely numb. She does not have any pain right now. So tell us how was your experience with the buccal fat reduction? We're very excited for our results. As you can see, our patient is very comfortable mm -hmm. and has minimal to no pain. Yes. And we're gonna, if this is pretty numb too, so we're gonna turn the skin neck like this whole thing, and before you know, we're gonna be out of pain. So for chin and neck liposculpting, I call it liposculpting as opposed to liposuction because the goal is not to remove as much fat as possible. The goal of the procedure is to take the right amount of fat from the right areas. It's all about lights and shadows. You have to create a reflection so that your jawline shows up really nice and you have a beautiful deep neck. That's the goal of the procedure. We did the tumescent before we started the buccal fat procedure. And um, now we're gonna just do the suctioning part and because she's free enough, she's not having any pain.
we are just getting all the tumescent fluid out so she has minimal fluid collection and this also helps with her swelling being better after the surgery. So we're officially done. The buccal fat is out. Chin and neck is beautifully sculpted. She has some swelling from all the fluid that we injected. Once the bowel goes down, it's gonna look beautiful. Hold on a second. I'll show you the buccal fat that we got out. So this is the buccal fat you see from the left side. This is the buccal fat from the right side. They look very similar. It's not bloody at all. I would say it's about three cc's. Most commonly, I take out anything between two to four cc's of buccal fat from each side. How do you feel? I feel amazing. That was so fast. Uh, I'm still very much numb. Uh, I have a tendency to swell up a lot. Uh, but yeah, I feel really great. That was amazing all right we're all done with the procedure everything went great the patient's total time in the facility from when she walked in to when she's walking out was just over an hour and she's walking out of here herself like a champ are you ready for facial slimming surgery after watching this video or maybe you have some questions if you'd like a free virtual consultation leave the words free consult in the comment section below and someone from our team will reach out to you shortly. From the offices of Dr. Singh and staff, we want to thank you so much for watching this video. Happy holidays to you and your family and we'll see you on the next one.